empirical. Oh, well, we need to we need to find the empirical formula so we can uh, solve for the molecular formula. All right, and they're they're giving us percent composition. So this is what we're going to give you uh, on your test, um, and we'll ask you the same kind of question. Okay, and it doesn't explicitly say find the uh, empirical formula, but in order to get the molecular formula, we, we have to find the empirical formula. All right, so uh, let's let's start with step number one. All right, step number one is if we uh, if we consider that we have 100 grams of uh, this this compound, lactic acid, um, there, then the uh, percentages, can we can change them into grams, right? So for carbon, since it makes up 40% of this compound, if we assume that there's 100 grams of this uh, compound, then we can say there's 40 grams of uh, carbon in the 100 grams of lactic acid, okay? And then the point of this is we, we need to get moles, and we can't do that when we have percentages. We need grams. Okay, so I hope that made sense. Uh, hydrogen, if we had 100 grams of lactic acid, uh, how many grams would we have of hydrogen? Uh, we'd have 6.67 grams. Okay, and then we would have, um, hey, all right, once, uh, let me, I'll get back to this video. Okay, uh, where were we? Uh, oxygen is um, right there. 53.3 grams if we had 100. Uh, all right, now uh, step two is, uh, we'll do this in red. Um, we need a, uh, so the whole point of that was to get moles. Okay, so now we can do that because we have grams. All right, so carbon is uh, 12 grams per one mole. Okay, so we can cancel these grams out. Now we have moles. Um, hydrogen is uh, one gram per mole. All right. All right, so we can cancel out the grams and we're left with moles. Need a little more room than that. All right, oxygen is 16 grams per mole. All right, so, all right, now we need our calculator. Let's punch these numbers in. All right, 40 divided by 12. Three and a third, all right, 3.33. Moles, carbon. All right, six point six seven divided. Well, divided by one. It's the same number. Six point six seven. Yeah. What? Try that again. All right. So we have a uh, um, six point six seven moles of. All right. You good? All right. Uh, hold on. Let me uh, get back to this. Oh man, that I. A uh, long time friend just stopped by and uh, pay me a visit. So, uh, all right, let's see. Um, back to uh, back to the problem. Fifty-three point three divided by sixteen. Um, three point three three moles of oxygen. Okay, so now we have the moles. We have all this information in terms of moles. All right, so we're, we're keeping keep in mind we're trying to write a formula. Okay, a formula is like a, a ratio of these um, atoms. Or these elements in in the molecule. All right. So which one is the lowest? Well, in this case, we have two, two that are two that are equally small, the numbers. All right. Uh, so we're gonna see how many times that number goes into all the moles. So 3.33, 3.33, and then uh, 3.33, and then you're gonna see that um, you know there's goes in one time there and goes one time there and goes in twice there. Three goes into six twice. All right. And so that our empirical formula here is going to be C1. And we don't write one, so I'm not going to write that. Uh, H2. That's what that number is there. Okay. And O1. So there's our empirical formula. All right. Let's find the molecular formula. That's what this whole thing is uh, about. So, um, the empirical formula mass is going to be 12 plus 2 plus 16. All right, that's 14 plus 16 is 30. All right, so uh, 30 is the uh, empirical formula mass. All right, we're given the uh, molar mass is 90. Okay, so how many times does 30 go into 90? All right, 90 is your, 90 is your molar mass. Uh, you know, let me pick a different color. I'm almost done. 
almost done. All right, 90 is our molar mass, and so 30 goes into 90 three times. All right, three times. We need to, you know, multiply through by three to get the molecular mass. So let's finish. Too many interruptions today. Just that's all. These are all good. Good interruptions. Long time. Uh, right, hold on. Let me just finish this here. C, three H six and uh, O three. There it is. I just look back. Does that look right? Three six. Yeah. So this is your this is your final answer. Is your molecular formula? Yay! I'm done my homework.